ta-da! I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good shade looking thing. Okay. Beautiful conservatory. And look at this! We got a shade. Okay, so this is looking really good. Emma's been just chilling during this whole time. Just eating something down there. Maybe another shoe or something. And little Bailey. Hey Bailey. Hi, are you enjoying the sunset? Is that a good sunset? Hi. Hello. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty colour. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. Another cat there. I think it's inside time. Oh, smudge is out. I think it's time to go in. Okay, so here is the lovely conservatory from the outside. I think I will put some sort of roof here at some point because the sun is just beating down on these poor little plants. I don't know how they're still alive. But now I have a little shade over here, so I'm going to move a couple of sensitive plants underneath there. It'll help a little bit. Um, if it doesn't help enough, I'm going to do a double layer of this. But this looks pretty good so far. Uh, it's not perfect. <laughs> um, this is actually a mistake from the factory. But this is... There's another cat out there. This is something I could fix. This is where the two materials come together. So I could just, you know, sew that together with some string or whatever. Zip ties, doesn't really matter. So I think the sun might still come through this quite strong. I might have to put another layer of this on top, which is easy enough. This was actually pretty easy to put up. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I still want to put some more over there. So this is uncovered right now, but I want to cover that as well. So I'm going to need another... Oh, that cat is so loud. I think it's a male cat looking for a girlfriend. So loud. Look at these pretty roses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Little bouquets in the garden. Lovely little bouquets. <laughs> so pretty. Those are the white lilies back there. Beautiful red roses. Just stunning. Yeah, so nice. Anyway, end result. Here we are. A nice little shade. I think it's good and I will probably end up putting a second layer on here, another second layer on there, and another one over there and another one over there. <laughs> so that means I need to have, this is 10 meters by the way. Um, it was a little bit too long at the back so I'd say I'm only going to get 9 meters next time to cover these two again. And then another 9 meters to do that over there, but then this will only be a single layer. And I think that's okay. So I'll have a double layer over here and then a single layer over there. So that means another nine meters and another nine meters. So a total 18 meters. And each meter is two levs. So yeah, not too bad. Emma's found the big bone. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. I've had a little think if I'm gonna get nine meters or ten meters again because all of this material it's ten meters and i think i'm gonna get ten meters again i do have this little bit of extra here but i'd rather have a little bit of extra than too little so this is not gonna stay like this i will i'll fix it it's just that i'm tired now so i'm not gonna fix this tonight but the plan is to get 20 meters not the original 18 i thought i'd get and then I will do a double layer. <laughs> Look at that beautiful cat. Look at that pretty cat. Cat in the window. <laughs> so cute. Um, and also I need to sand down this window. As you can see, I haven't done that yet. This looks really rough. 
Look at that state of that windowsill. Shocking, just shocking. So that's the next project. But first, another couple meters on top of this. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. And look, shade cloth is doing work. Emma approves. <laughs> There's Emma and Bailey. Oh, they're doing so nicely. Bailey's got a fluffy tail, but look how nice they are with each other. Very relaxed. That was amazing interaction. Bailey, <laughs> she prefers to watch Emma from behind some plants <laughs> or oh, a little barrier. Oh, that's so cute. Smudgy's just chilling. I am so impressed with this. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this shade thing. So this is what I've done, just basically cleaned up the edges of the little twine fence. This is what it looks like before, before I get to it basically. All of the little weeds are sort of getting into the veggie bed. Look at that, they're just crawling in there. Hmm. So I'm just cleaning it up, making sure the edges are uh, free from weeds and this is the last little bit I need to do. Um, I'm gonna cover the soil with something, I'm just not quite sure what yet. Maybe with Emma I can just lie on it and keep it cool. <laughs> this edge I've already done as well. And this one as well. Yeah, looking pretty good. And then this is the one I still need to do. I've done half. I've done this little bit here. And then here you can see the weeds are coming in. And I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Make sure the veggies have some space. And cover it with mulch. So this is the tool I'm using to um, clean up the edges. I was using a different one, but that one sort of disappeared, so I had to buy a new one, $17.50, um, which is like, I don't know, 8 euros, but it's pretty substantial, so I think it'll last a while. I don't know where the old one went to. It could be just buried somewhere in all this tall grass. I've got no idea. All I know is that I can't find it, so got a new one, <laughs> because these edges need doing. Also just appreciating these beautiful lilies. They smell amazing as well. Oh my god, they smell so good. Yeah, lilies are wonderful. I never thought I was going to have lilies because, you know, they're poisonous for cats. At least the pollen is, from what I hear. Um, but now I've got lilies. <laughs> and I think the cats will be fine. Yeah, the cats will be fine. These are so, so beautiful. Just wonderful. Update. <laughs> it is all clear. The little grasses and weeds have been removed from the edges. So the veggie bed is now pretty nice and clean. Um, I just need to do a bit more mulching so that I can cover these little edges with some mulch. And also those rows need some mulching as well. So I need to find some branches actually. I've run out of branches. <laughs> need branches for mulching. Ah, oh, beautiful lilies. Lilies, lily, lilies. Okay, so here's the shade update. Chair is still in the shade. It is now, um, let me check. Okay, so it's now 9 a.m. and this is what the shade looks like. So, that's a decent amount of shade, actually. Maybe I don't need an, an, another layer. I think this could be quite comfortable. At 9 a.m. it's comfortable. Let's see what it feels like later today. <laughs> Let's see. It's quite nice. Here's the shade update. It is now pet tissue. Snuff, 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 snuff. Hey Emma. You got snuffers? <laughs> it's now 10.30 and this is the shade situation. It's also really windy and it seems to not be blowing away. 
at least not too much. Um, so it's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure I want a double layer of shade because it's only getting hotter. So yeah, I'm gonna get some more shade cloth probably on Tuesday or so. It's half past three. There's a squeaky cat. And this is the shade situation. So there's a definite shade underneath the shade cloth, which is very promising. But let's see how it feels. Oh, this actually feels really nice. This feels really good. Hmm. This is actually sufficient. It's not. Yes, it is. This feels great. This shade is perfect. Oh, I'm very happy with this. This one dude prefers the tree shade. As you can see, this is not as much shade as the tree. The tree has more shade, a little bit more dense. But there's a beautiful breeze going on right now. And the shade feels good. Today I am moving things from here. From this chaos, absolute chaos. Into the barn. Because this room has a leak. There's a massive leak going on here. Um, this bucket got filled up with some rainwater. That bucket looks like there's some really dodgy things in there. Mm, not sure what that is. I'll check that later. Oh, <laughs> But basically this leak is coming from up here. Let's have a look outside. So this this is that room where I was in just now, and this is the kitchen. And the new roof ends basically there where that chimney is or where that little crevice is. So this whole roof was done new, but then it adjoins here to the old roof. And where, that, where these two meet, that's where the leak happens, right into that room. So that is a little bit of an issue. Maybe this is a better view. Basically, that's the new roof, that's the old roof, and the right between the two, that's where the leak is, coming right down there into this little extra room. Hey, Emmeline. So, yep, this is uh, up there, that's the leak there. And step one, remove all the things. <laughs> After removing all these things, that can be looked at and that can then hopefully be fixed. But step one, oh no, oh no, look at all these things that need to be moved. Chaos. Okay, well, I better get started. It's three o'clock and it's super hot, so obviously I've picked the perfect time to start this project. <laughs> Emma will help. Right, Emma? Sort of. Smudgy will help. <laughs> Maybe not. I guess this is all me. Okay, okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I've moved the plants. The plants are no longer being roasted. <laughs> they are now in the shade over here with Emma safely underneath this little netting. And I found some really, really cute little frogs. I think I got them from the north of Bulgaria, from Ravid. Thank you, Ravid. Look at this cute little frog. And there's another one. There's so many of them, actually. Um, <laughs> look at that little guy. Can you see him on that flower? So cute. There's many of them, but they're hiding a little bit because hot. So I think, yeah, they're just going to be happy in this little garden patch underneath the shade now. Yeah, super cute little frogs. I counted about five, maybe more. I saw one of them heading into the peonies, but I don't think I'll see them again because they're pretty good at hiding, I think. Except for these two. These two are just like, hey, friends. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, so I think when Ravid gave me some of her plants, I think they might have been hiding in the sage. Or maybe in this lemon plant. I don't know what the lemon plant is called, but 
If you eat a leaf, it tastes like a lemon, a lettuce leaf with lemon on it, infused with lemon, basically. It's pretty great. So I think the froggies came in one of those plants. Yay, <laughs> I got some froggies. That's really awesome. I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, shade update. It is half past seven. And this shade has wandered over there and is not over there. So the plants would have been in really, really hot sun right now. It is, it is very hot right now. But what I did was I put a blanket up there. So that's sort of saving them a little bit because this is sun. This, this shade up here, it's not there, it's moved. <laughs> Yeah, half past seven, the sun is very low. I guess you can tell it's quite, it doesn't look low when I look at it now, but it is, it's low. Um, so yeah, I put this blanket up there and kind of difficult to see where the shadow falls, but there's sun. So it is actually, sun is traveling. Yeah, so this blanket is putting shade right over there. Yeah, hope the plants are okay. They look really worse for wear. I am so sorry I left them out in the sun so long. Well, this is what I've been doing today. I have made quite a good job of this. I think you remember it looked absolutely awful. It was about double the amount, I'd say, and I've done about half. So I'm feeling good, but the bits I did was big bits, <laughs> like furniture pieces, bedside cabinets. And what's remaining is lots of little bits like, yeah, um, I think it's mostly just blankets, but that over there, it's a couch. So that's going to be nice not to have to go right down to the floor with blankets. I think there's two couches, one at the back over there against that wall and one over here, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll just see what comes up when I finish that tomorrow. This is trash. I found this really old thing. Don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No idea. Really old. Um, these chairs are broken. They need to be trashed as well. All of those bags are trash. My garden chair is not trash. <laughs> as soon as I have more shade, I can sit outside. This is all trash. It's just broken things. Trash, trash, trash. And this is also trash. Emma was lying on this for a little while, but yeah, that all needs to be binned. So I did a really good job today. I'm pretty happy with it, considering it was very, very hot and I'm tired. <laughs> so those blinds are staying permanently closed now because of the sun. The sun is just too intense. And it's half past seven and it's so hot. My goodness. These plants are doing okay. I think as long as they have some shade, they'll be fine.